there you are. Hi, Owen. We don't see you. Oh, now we see you. Hello. Oh, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. All right. So you're in the car. I'm going to show you the audience here. All right. Hello, everyone. Hi. You know, maybe I'll leave it here. Um, okay, so the reason I wanted to talk to you today on is because you're one of the first or maybe the only one really rating exchanges and um, helping people understand this world. Now you launched an academy. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about the trends of 2020? and uh, what people should look for when they're considering trading on exchange or listing their tokens on exchange, regulation, and so on. So the floor is yours. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, just a small introduction. Um, I'm the founder and the CEO of Point Intelligence. We do um, analysis uh, for blockchain and crypto. Uh, we developed uh, a very unique um, exchanges rating system um, and uh, following our uh, rating system, other uh, well-known websites also uh, publish their own uh, uh, rankings uh, or uh, ratings. Um, but unfortunately, uh, that's uh, my way of uh, starting this discussion. Uh, unfortunately, we still see um, we still have, have, have saw in 2019, and I suspect it's going to be um, pretty much the same in 2020, we see too many bad actors out there. Um, and I'm talking about the exchanges at the moment. And unfortunately, um, most of them are still faking trading volume. Um, and, uh, and when you look at the websites, such as CoinMarketCap, uh, which is uh, probably the most uh, famous and well-known uh, website um, for information and data with regards to coins and exchanges. Unfortunately, a lot of the, uh, many of the exchanges that are listed on the top positions there uh, are uh, uh, making trading volume for sure. Um, beside that, I can say that we uh, have seen that uh, approximately 50% of the exchanges out there will not disclose uh, very important information such as the team behind the exchange. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shocking uh, a number, uh, so I'll just repeat it in case that you didn't get it. It's approximately 50%, half of the exchanges out there. Uh, and when we ask them again and again, for the uh, team detail, details, they will not uh, disclose. Um, and I have to say that uh, my favorite uh, response that we got until today is the response that we got from Binance. And uh, the official response that we got is that the team is teasing. Uh, and that was after uh, many uh, attempts that we asked them. Uh, um, now, beside that, um, I can say that um, we've seen that the IEO's um, craze uh, is uh, pretty much dead at the moment, uh, as ICOs are dead. And um, we've seen uh, in 2019 uh, a few exchanges uh, that are considered to be the leading exchanges with regards to IEOs. Uh, unfortunately, most of the IEOs that they listed were scams. And, and if not scams, than um, projects that had, they got no chance uh, of succeeding. And I'm all about uh, startups and uh, entrepreneurship. And with regards to 2020, I can say that uh, the most, um, uh, our uh, uh, prediction uh, is that we'll see staking grow a lot. Uh, some of the exchanges are already offering uh, different staking options. Uh, we think that lending uh, is going to be a, a, a huge thing uh, that already started um, and we do see a lot of progress with lending uh, but we see that 
uh, some of the exchanges would like to take it one step uh, further and allow uh, the users uh, to use the lending options. And the most important part that we see uh, uh, is growing, and we think that it will continue to grow in 2020, is uh, the different types of contracts, which means that we can see that uh, future contracts, margin options, uh, and so on and so on, these will grow a lot in 2020, and um, um, we already see a lot of uh, uh, movement in the top exchanges towards uh, the different types of uh, contracts, and we think that uh, it's going to be much, much more. There's going to be new types of contracts, and when I say new types of contracts, for example, just to give you a, a one example, we'll see uh, different types of contracts with regards to um, uh, hash rate, with regards to mining operations in general, and uh, different types of uh, unique things that are related to crypto, and we didn't see them in the traditional markets. Um, so, putting aside uh, what I just said, uh, sorry? No, no, we're, we're listening. Okay, so putting aside what I just mentioned, um, to talk a little, bit, a little bit about uh, regulation, what we see um, uh, in 2019, and we are sure that it's going to uh, progress in 2020, is regulation. Everybody talks about it, and everybody knows that the regulation is coming. Um, it's, it's already here in some countries, but it's going to be much more developed in 2020 the way that we see it. And, and we think that the exchanges uh, are going to be um, the, the place where the regulation is going to be the most relevant, most active. And, um, and we're already seeing uh, it happening uh, right now. But one thing I have to mention is that we already see the crackdown in China with regards to the exchanges and uh, we see that it's happening much more these days and it's going to happen much more and when I say regulation we have to remember that it's not only about the enforcement of the rules with regards to how you do the trading what's allowed what's not allowed KYC AML I'm also uh, um, um, uh, thinking about a, a tax implications because you have to remember that many of the exchanges probably most of them are not even paying taxes because they are operating outside of regulation and the governments even with the exchanges that are not regulated will not let them just continue to enjoy the profits without uh, uh, charging taxes and I don't think that many of the exchanges are even considering that they will be needing to pay these taxes. And unfortunately, I think that we'll see many of the exchanges going bankrupt, uh, as we've seen already with some of the exchanges uh, in 2019. Um, and unfortunately, I think that we will see some more scam exits uh, as we've seen. So that's the summary that I can give you in uh, a few minutes. That's awesome. So I just have a question. What about security tokens? Where do you see that? Is that going to come in 2020? Okay, so it all depends on who you're asking, obviously. <laughs> um, but uh, me personally, I am a big fan of security tokens. I think that security tokens is the future. Um, I, I am a big believer in Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum and, and these type of uh, coins or projects and so on, but I uh, really think that the, the big uh, uh, change, the mass adoption that everybody, everybody is talking about will happen um, when the security tokens uh, will evolve. And I have to say that I um, published an article for uh, 2019, and I called it the year of uh, security tokens. 
Uh, obviously, I need to uh, publish a, an apology and say that maybe 2020 will Just be change the number. <laughs> yeah. Just change the number. Uh, but having said that, I have to say that I still call 2019 the year of the security tokens because I think that the infrastructure uh, has been built significantly in 2019. And in 2020, 2021, we will see a lot of the execution uh, for that. And I do think that we will see uh, mass adoption starting to happen. Um, and, and I'm a big believer in security tokens, as I mentioned. All right. So about to continue the, the issue of trading of digital assets, you know, asset-backed digital assets, um, are we starting to see exchanges that are trading security tokens? Are you guys looking into those licenses? That's number one question that I, that I as solid block, have right now. Yeah, so we did see uh, a few exchanges that are dealing with the uh, security tokens. Um, just a, a few examples, um, there's a, a company called uh, Merge that uh, is raising funds uh, to, uh, for their own SDO and they're planning to do security tokens uh, as soon as they finish the, the fundraising. We've already seen uh, uh, exchanges like T0 uh, that are already operational. Uh, in the United States, uh, everybody knows that the, the US regulation is the, the, the most difficult in the world, and we already seen uh, that the, the regulators are um, are working with these projects. Uh, we've seen Archex in the UK that is fully UK regulated, uh, and that's amazing. It's not the sandbox. Uh, that everybody are familiar with, they are, are already fully regulated. They should uh, start operating in 2020. And uh, recently, I joined myself as an advisor to an exchange that has been working with the SEC for the last two years. And, um, and it seems that it's going to be operational in 2020. And it's a, an exchange that is going to offer all cryptocurrency trading and security tokens uh, trading as well. So if you ask me, it's happening. It's just a matter of time. I'm sure that there's other projects that I am not familiar with that are uh, starting uh, as well. Um, but um, I am sh I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I don't know if it will be 2020 or 2021, but there, at some point we will see a huge breakthrough because I, we see that the regulators are pro security tokens, at least in uh, the major Western countries uh, like uh, the US, the UK, uh, Germany, and so on. Okay, thank you for that prognosis on. Thank you for joining us. I know you're uh, somewhere either on a ski slope or maybe you're mowing your lawn. I'm not sure what you're doing in those glasses, but uh, Thank, thanks for, so much for, for joining us, and uh, we'll see you at the next event. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.